Hello, remember that really cool uh, DIY digital projector I just showed you like a few days ago that I made? Well, apparently it really doesn't like it when you spill tea on it. And I'm really disappointed that that happened because it was a really good cup of tea and I think had I had one more sip I would have felt fully satisfied and I never had it because it was all over my electronics. Long story short, it's broken. Instead of actually showing like the image like it's supposed to, I just get some cool glitchy patterns which are fun but not useful. So I have to actually spend money now to get this stupid thing to work. So I spent the better part of today wandering around the electronic stores looking for the cheapest thing with a decent sized digital display that I could find. And what I eventually settled on was this. I found this um, 5 inch screen digital photo frame. It was only about $20. So here's the actual device. There are only four screws holding this front thing in so this came apart really easily. And the screen is just connected by two little power cables and a little data cable in there. The light and everything is contained inside this unit. So my goal is going to be to carefully take this apart to get at this screen without breaking anything. This looks like it might be tricky even though the rest of it was easy because they never make everything easy for you. So now I'm going to see if I can rescue my project and get painting again. Um, it's no longer going to be a high definition digital display. This has only got, uh, what is it here, 320 by 234 resolution. But for 20 bucks, what can you do? If I wanted a step better, I would have had to spend 50. And I don't want to spend $50. All right, I've never actually had something work out this easily. Um, whatever brand this is, I'd highly recommend it. I've torn apart a fair number of these things and it's always led to a mess. This guy just comes right apart. So the box I was showing you sooner, pop this metal thing off, it's just friction fit with these little tabs. You can see there, that have little metal pins in them here. So you just take a flathead screwdriver, pry it in the edges, comes right apart. So here is the LCD panel and here is the backlight. Two separate modules just slapped together and just friction fit in place. Um, I don't normally like to, you know, risk electrocution and turn things on unnecessarily, but um, I think for you people on YouTube, you're worth the risk. Let's let's fire this guy up. The on button is back here. So there you can see the LCD panel. It's this guy right here. And of course, there's no reason why this LCD panel has to be sitting on top of this specific light panel that came with it. I could just as easily set it on top of an overhead projector. There's the image on the overhead. It's hard to see because my painting's under there right now, but uh, there you go. Let me turn this fan off for you. Should sound a little clearer now. So there you go. That is my second attempt at a new and deproved digital projector that's all done by myself. And it's no longer free. It now costs me. $20, which is still a hell of a lot cheaper than a new ink cartridge.